Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a small pond, which was a request I received. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 17cm wide by 11cm high, or 6 and 3 quarter inches wide by 4 and a quarter inches. This medium pond, crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook, is 11cm wide by 7cm or 4 and a quarter inches wide by 2 and 3 quarter inches. The small ponds, crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook, are 9 centimetres wide by 6 centimetres or 3.5 inches wide by 2.5 inches high. I'll be working it with the rocks but I'll also work another pond off camera and I'll show you how to work the easier edge. This little duck is one of my previous patterns. I work the duck in very fine cotton I'll be using Katona cotton today, so the size will be slightly smaller than the large one. I've got 146 Vivid Blue, 074 Mercury, 106 Snow White, 515 Emerald, 222 Tulip, and I've used a tiny bit of 242 Metal Grey to embroider on small rocks between the large rocks. And this 210 electric blue is for the pond with the easier edge. I've got scissors, a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together, and I've got bright yellow thread to embroider the middle on the water lilies. Now I'm starting at the bottom of the pond there. I've got my 146, the vivid blue, and I work 16 chain. For row 1 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch, the second from the hook, and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. So a single crochet in each of the next two stitches as well. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the following three stitches. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through the three loops. Then we need one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. So a double crochet into each of the next two stitches as well. Then we need one half double crochet into each of the following three stitches.
and one single crochet into each of the last three stitches. And the three different stitches just gives it a curved bottom. For row two, we start with two chain and turn our work. Into our first stitch, we're going to work one half double crochet and two single crochet. Then we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 19 stitches. So after the first stitch work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. Into our last stitch we work two single crochet and one half double crochet. And we're going to work a few rows the same as row two. We start with two chain and turn our work. Into the first stitch we work one half double crochet and two single crochet. Then work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. Into the last stitch we'll work two single crochet and one half double crochet. And for the next row we'll have 23 stitches. So work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch. By the end of row four we'll have 27 stitches. We start with two chain and turn into our first stitch we work one half double crochet and two single crochet. Then work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch.
into our last stitch we work two single crochet and one half double crochet. For row 5 we'll have 31 stitches by the end of the row. We start with 2 chain and turn. We work one half double crochet and two single crochet into the first stitch. Then work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. Into our last stitch we work two single crochet and one half double crochet. For row 6 we'll have 35 stitches by the end of the row. We start with two chain and turn and work one half double crochet and two single crochet in the first stitch. Then work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. Into our last stitch we work two single crochet and one half double crochet. And that's all the increasing done. For row 7 we start with two chain and work one half double crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work one half double crochet into the last stitch 
and will have 35 stitches. So after the half double crochet work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 35 stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. We'll have 35 stitches.
For bow 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 35 stitches. Now we're going to start to decrease. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 33 stitches. So after the joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch till you have two left. I've got two stitches left. We work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 12, we start with one chain and turn. We'll have 31 stitches by the end of the row. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches.
and work a joined single crochet row for the last two stitches. For row 13, we start with one chain and turn. By the time we finish row 13, we'll have 29 stitches. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 14, we start with one chain and turn. We'll have 27 stitches by the time we finish row 14. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn. We'll have 25 stitches when we finish row 15. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches,
and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn. We'll have 23 stitches when we finish row 16. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches. We put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, then hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on the hook, we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch until we have three stitches left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last three stitches and we'll have 19 stitches. So after the joined single crochet, work one single crochet in each stitch till you have three left. and work a joined single crochet over the last three stitches. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. One double crochet into each of the following five stitches. That's a treble using UK terms. So one double crochet into each of the following five stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last three stitches. And that's the pond part done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain, we don't turn, and we work one single crochet in each stitch around. 
just find a suitable place not too far from the edge to work your single crochets. It can be easier to use a final hook for your neatening row if you have trouble finding a place to put your hook. Now I'll work my neatening row off camera and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row. When I get back to the beginning of the row I slip stitch in the top of that first stitch there. So I put my hook into the stitch bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook and then fasten off. And that's the pond part done. For these rocks they're going to be worked in one string to go right round. I've got my 074, the Mercury and I start with four chain for the first rock. For row one, I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one double crochet into the next chain, that's a treble using UK terms, and one single crochet into the last chain. For row two, I start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches, and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work a joined single crochet row for the two stitches and then we work three chain and that's the first rock done. Now for the second rock we work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook so just in here For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 2 single crochet into each of the 2 stitches For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches For row 4 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and a join single crochet row for the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet in each of the last two stitches. And 
and then we turn our work and slip stitch into the second stitch so just in there and work two chain and that's the second rock done for the third rock we work three single crochet in the second chain from the hook For row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. And two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with two chain and turn, we work one half double crochet into each of the first two stitches one single crochet into the next stitch and slip stitch into the last stitch and we turn and for row four we miss the slip stitch and work one single crochet in each of the last three stitches. Then turn our work and slip stitch into the first stitch. Then work three chain. For the fourth rock we work two half double crochet and one double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So two half double crochet and one double crochet. For row two we start with one chain and turn we work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop then yarn around the hook and take a hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet row for the first two stitches and one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with two chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over the three stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. There's lots of loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook, take a hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we work three chain. For the fifth rock, we work four half double crochet in the second chain from the hook.
For row two, we start with two chain and turn, and we're going to work a joined double crochet over the four stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch, and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, and take our hook with the yarn at the end. Through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, then yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got five loops on the hook, we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work three chain. For the sixth rock we work two half double crochet and one double crochet in the second chain from the hook. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. And a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. For row five we start with two chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over the three stitches. And then we slip stitch in to the next stitch up and work three chain. And that's the first six rocks done. For the seventh rock, we work one single crochet, one double crochet, and one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So one single crochet, one double crochet, and one single crochet. For row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row four, we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. And then we turn our work and slip stitch into the next stitch up the side.
and work three chain. For the eighth rock we work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet in each stitch. We'll have four stitches. For row three we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches. For row four we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and a joined single crochet row for the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. We turn our work and slip stitch into the second stitch and work two chain. For the ninth rock we work three single crochet in the second chain from the hook. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches. and two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each of the first two stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch and slip stitch into the last stitch. We turn our work, we miss the slip stitch and work one single crochet into each of the last three stitches. We turn our work and slip stitch into the first stitch and work three chain. For the tenth rock we work two half double crochet and one double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So two half double crochet and one double crochet. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into the next stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. And a joined half double crochet row for the last two stitches. For row four we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. 
for bow 5 we start with 2 chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over the 3 stitches. And then we work 3 chain. For the 11th rock we work 4 half double crochet in the 2nd chain from the hook. For row 2 we start with 2 chain and turn and work a joined double crochet over the 4 stitches. And then we work 3 chain. For the 12th rock we work 2 half double crochet and 1 double crochet in the 2nd chain from the hook. So 2 half double crochet and 1 double crochet. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into the next stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the first 3 stitches. and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with 2 chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over the 3 stitches and then work 3 chain. For the 13th rock we work 1 single crochet, 1 double crochet and 1 single crochet in the 2nd chain from the hook. So 1 single crochet, 1 double crochet and 1 single crochet. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches and then work three chain
For the 14th rock we work 2 single crochet in the second chain from the hook For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 2 single crochet in each of the 2 stitches For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 4 stitches For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the first 2 stitches and a join single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn, work 1 single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. We turn our work and slip stitch into the second stitch and work two chain. For the last rock we work three single crochet in the second chain from the hook. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each of the first 2 stitches and 2 half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with 2 chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each of the first two stitches, one single crochet into the next stitch and slip stitch into the last stitch and turn. We miss the slip stitch and work one single crochet into each of the last three stitches. Then work 2 chain and fasten off. And that's the rocks. Now I'll be back with my other darker pond and I'll work the easy, easy edge around it. Now here's my pond I've made in the darker blue. I'll be using the 074, the Mercury again, and I'm going to join in the front loop only of any stitch. So this is the front loop, there's the back loop there. I'm going to be working into the front loop of each stitch around. So we work two chain and then we're going to be working one half double crochet in the front loop only of each stitch. So it's probably a bit easier to find the front loop if you if you bend your work forward a little bit.
Now if your stitch bends back too far, work an extra stitch in the same stitch. So I'll work, because I'm going round a bend, I'll work two half double crochet into that stitch. And up because that's on a corner, I'll work two half double crochet into that one as well. So you just continue working one half double crochet into most stitches, occasionally two half double crochet into the front loop only of each stitch around. So I'll continue around the row and I'll be back when I get near the end. Now I'm back to the beginning of the row, I slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. For row 2 I start with 1 chain and I'm going to work 1 single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch. This is the back loop in here, just in there. So just in there, one single crochet in each stitch in the back loop only. Working into the front loop and the back loop just gives it a bit of a texture. So just work like that right around. I'll work this off camera and I'll be back when I get to the beginning of the row. I've worked right around the pond. I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the pond with the easy edging done. Now for the water lilies, I'll be working two white and two pink for each pond, but I'll only work two pink on camera. I've got the 222, the tulip, and I make a magic loop. To make a magic loop, I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle, put the yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn at the end through the circle. And that's my magic loop. Then I work two chain and slip stitch into the circle. And I'm going to repeat that seven more times. Two chain and slip stitch into the circle. And I'll just work like that. Two chain, slip stitch into the circle till I have eight petals. Now I've got eight petals, I take hold of this tail and just ease it in as tight as I can and I fasten off. And that's a water lily done. I'll work one more, I make a magic loop. And work two chain and slip stitch into the circle and repeat that seven more times two chain and slip stitch into the circle
I pulled the circle tight and fasten off. And I'll work the rest of the water lilies off camera. Now for the lily pads I've got two for each pond. I'll be using my 515, the emerald, and I make a magic loop. I work four chain and then I work a treble into the circle. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook in through the circle and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then we work one double crochet into the circle, then two half double crochet, one double crochet and two treble. We pull the circle tight but we don't join and when I weave in the ends I'll weave it into shape. So it will go up like that. For the second one it's worked the same. We start with a magic loop and work four chain. We work one treble into the circle, then one dub, double crochet, two half double crochet, one double crochet, and two treble. We pull the circle tight and fasten off. Now that's all the pieces. I'll weave in the ends and I'll work the other pieces I need and then I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's the pieces. I've got the pond with the easy edge with the lilies and the lily pads. I've got the other pond, the rocks, the lilies and the lily pads. The first thing I do is attach the rocks to the pond. I start at this edge here and just they just stitch around like that. Just to the edge and then up around the top. And they just fit in there. I'll put those chain under the first rock. So I'll stitch those on and I'll be back. Next I'll embroider these little rocks in between the larger rocks. I'll just use a French knot to embroider them and I'll also attach the lily pads just one each side, probably about there on each of the ponds. The last thing I'll do is attach the water lilies
about there, I attach them with a yellow French knot. So I'll attach them and I'll be back to show you the finished ponds. And there's the finished ponds. The size is 15 centimetres wide by 10 centimetres or 5 and 3 quarter inches wide by 4 inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.